Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you 10 Visual Studio Code extensions that you might need as a web developer. Now, you not having these extensions doesn't make you a bad developer or programmer, but having these extensions will definitely make your development or your coding far more easier. So, let's get straight into the video. So now the first one I want to show you is called live server. So I'm just going to open up my extension tab here and I'm going to search it live server. So what this extension does is that it automatically runs your HTML file or just your plain template file on a local host. Now if I scroll down here and show the demo which is shown here, you can see that we just have an index.html file here. And it says server has started at this port. Now, if you come into your browser and then open up that particular port, you are going to see that HTML page. And the best thing about this particular extension is that uh, once you save your code, it automatically refreshes you. So you don't need to save, then come here and it refresh or anything like that. So this is a it's definitely a great to a great extension for you to consider getting now the second one i'm going to show you is called auto rename tag so let's search that up so this is it right here it's called auto rename tag now what this does is that um, you know in html when you have a new tag so you have like a div tag it's going to have an opening and close tag so once you change a div tag to let's say an h1 tag automatically the closing tag is also going to be changed to an h1 tag now let me show you a demo of what they put there so you can understand what i'm saying so as you can see right here we have this a tag as this has been changed a test is already updating here see as the change this in the closing tag it updates in the opening tag and that's what this auto rename tag does it automatically updates the open and closing tag if any of them is changed now the third one i want to talk about is called prettier now this prettier is a very good tool for formatting your code so as you can see prettier code formatter and it's very very popular as you can see it has almost 12 million downloads so what this does is that it automatically formats your code now let's say like in python you know you need um, python it deals with indentation so if you miss an indentation let's say in an if statement or in a for loop you're gonna get an error but with prettier if you have this installed once you save your python file if there is any error in the indentations or in the format is automatically going to reformat it or automatically going to put it in the format it's supposed to be so it's an auto code formatter it doesn't work for only python it works for javascript it works for some other languages as well now the next one i want to talk about is polar code now this is polar code right here now what polar code does is that it just takes a particular block of code and turns it into an image now this is very good let's say you, i'm sure you'd have seen all those um images online on twitter on social media where something that looks like this where we have um, a block of code in just a particular background so it's a very good tool if you have a code you can just copy it and then paste it in like an image and then you can save that image as a file as you can see here and you can share that file wherever you want to share it if you want to share your code so i personally love this polar code it's a very very good extension so um, this is the demo right here you copy that particular place it automatically shows here and then you see we can resize it and then we're also going to be able to save this as an image file so as you can see it says as code.png so that's what this does now let's move to the next one which is kite i personally love this one because this is an autocomplete ai code that's the name so what this does is that 
it um, automatically completes your code or it suggests what it thinks you are going to type next so let me show you this demo as you can see um automatically let's say we want to have like want to import something so um so as you can see from import import math my plot lib automatically it suggests what it thinks you're going to type next is like an ai an ai extension and it works with different languages as you can see python java go and some other languages so it's a very very good um, extension but the only thing with kite is that once you have this installed in vs code you also need to go to their website and get the main application or the main software downloaded and installed on your computer so if you don't have that it's not going to work so that's the only difference with this particular extension and the rest of the extensions i'm going to be talking about so the next one i'm going to talk about is part intelligence so this is it right here so this part intelligence what it does is that it basically just auto complete uh let's say you want to write a part in an html code you know when you have like an a tag which which is going to specify to a particular tag or you are linking with a css file or an image file so this part intelligence just like kite it automatically completes the the link to the file the parts to the file you want to pick so um that's what this part intelligence is for not something too complex you can also check it out if you feel like having it so um having that said let's move to the next one which is called better comments so right here i have better comments so what this better comment does is a very simple extension what it does it just gives your comment um, the better format or looks so you know normally when we have a comment we have everything faded out we have it grayed out something like this but better comment gives it some highlighting as you can see this is a comment but now it has some green it has some red it has some other colors just to make it more readable for because comment is basically for you to allow other people to read that particular block of code or maybe to remind yourself of something you want to do so this uh, is going to make you be able to read a comment more clearly and efficiently so the next one i'm going to talk about is called project manager so this project manager is a tool that i personally use a lot so what it just does is that it uh, have your project in like a sidebar right here so different of your place you have multiple projects you're working on so it's going to list it there and you're going to be able to switch within each project very easily with just one click you switch to a project opens all the files there opens everything about that project so i personally love this project manager is a great extension you can try it out and then the next one i want to talk about i also love this one because it's pretty amazing so this is it right here it's called browser preview so it has 408,000 downloads which is pretty amazing so from the name this means is a, an extension which allows you to have a browser right here in vs code so i love this because uh, it makes my work a lot easier and faster so i don't need to switch to chrome i only switch to chrome for some particular things maybe for some debugging or something like that but this just for testing your code just for seeing your code on the browser is very a very very great extension you should try it out so now the last one we're going to be talking about today is called live share now this is not a compulsory one let's quickly bring that up so you might not need this but let's what this extension does is that it allows you to code along with someone else so let's say you you have a project you're working on and you're working on it with a friend and your friend is not with you right here currently so live share is gonna take your particular window let's say i have a django project opened on this window it's gonna take that window give it a specific link then you're gonna share it to your friend or whoever want to code along and once the person opens that link it's going to open up this window that you have 
in his or a browser in his or a visual studio code and then you guys can code along so any changes that person make is automatically going to be updated here in real time so it's like you are coding on the same computer pretty amazing now as i said not everybody really needs this but if you need it it's a very great tool so this is the end of this video i hope you love what we talked about in this video i hope you checked out the extensions if you liked some of them and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video